Guess what, dudes? Another AVP mod update, and there's a dude outside mowing the lawn as loud as he can, as I'm trying to record. Fucking cut! All right, so AVP mod has been updated. Really excited to show you guys what has changed. All right, so first of all, the Predators have gotten an overhaul. They now have this super jump ability. <laughs> well, not the super jump ability. I'm just going to say it like that, though, so they sound like a superhero. The super jump ability. And um, there's also an animation that accompanies it when it happens. So if we can get him to super jump, that will be that would be fantastic. Could you super jump, please? Oh! <laughs> okay. Yep. So now they can jump as high as they do in the lore, which is nice. Um, just ignore these guys for a second. I tried recording this before, but, um... I was like, I was like, fuck it to the person who was uh, mowing their lawn, and I recorded it anyway, but it was so loud over the back of, back of the audio, so I have to redo this again, like, an hour later. Jesus Christ. Anyway, awesome. So, we'll just spawn a few of them. Super jump! <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Let me try. Oh, I got an idea. Do I have my macro one? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be stupid. You ready? <laughs> Alright, guys. Jump. Jump all at once. Do it. Jump. Oh shit! Oh shit, that's on a toggle. Is that on a toggle? Oh my god. Oh shit, please stop pressing it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Jesus fuck. Um... I just killed her- I just killed my computer. Um... Oh, Jesus fuck. <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, the Predators have a new super jump ability. <laughs> with an animation as well, which is really cool. I may have overdid it there. Also, they've gotten some new HD sounds, and their drop tables have been expanded to include the chances of them dropping silicon and shurikens as well. And the cat is taking a shit now, it's like everything inside the, the entire fucking Everything outside of my little recording area is trying to ruin the video. My fucking PC just crashed while I was rec recording that trilobite seg segment. Piece of shit! I swear to god! First that motherfucker doesn't stop fucking mowing their lawn and then the fucking cat takes his shit while I'm trying to record and then starts fucking meowing non-stop. I have to cut almost all of it out. Oh my god, I have to redo the shot like three times. And then my fucking computer just crashed. Fucking piece of- Look at this shit! This close to going back to a mental home. Alright, so the other huge part of this update is the new trilobites. Recording this for the fourth time. Oh my god! So, they have a new model and have brand new animations and also a new impregnation mechanic, which is really cool. Okay, so first of all, let me show you their beautiful movement. Okay. Let me just show you. This is beautiful. Okay. Run, my pretties. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Run. Run for me. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's meant to be weird. That was what they were aiming for, okay? It's meant to be really fucking weird. Um, I think it's also hilarious. On top of weird. <laughs> Which is great. Oh my god. Let me um, just set it to daytime. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see, beautiful movement. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway. There are currently two variants of Alien that pop out of the impregnated subjects. So the first is the common adult Deacon, which comes from most beings. So if we were to grab a trilobite, put it on a little Kubo or chicken, or okay, just avoid the chicken, sure. Um, you'll see it impregnates the piggy, 
my piggies look very different from ver from vanilla because um, my mod pack. Yeah. Anyway, this guy's already been impregnated. You can already see he's like bursting with excitement. <laughs> That's punny, huh? Okay. So this impregnation process will happen. Um, a baby deacon will start forming inside their bellies or chest or whatever. Um, cool. So once that happens, the deacon will pop out. And then eventually the baby deacon will turn into an adult deacon and I can show you what they look like here. I don't even need to wait for them to explode, but we're going to do that anyway. All right, you explode. Uh, let's grab a tactical helmet so we can have a look at how much time he's got left. Sometimes this doesn't work for some reason. Oh, Jesus fuck. Wait, no, go away. Okay, whatever. Um, I wonder. I wonder if I go to peaceful. I don't want to even try it. I want to. I don't want to go to peaceful. Did, could you stop fucking moving? Oh my god. Oh shit! I missed it. He came out. Stop fucking killing my shit! Stop it! Stop it! No, don't you dare! Stop! Piss off! Oh my god! Stop killing! <laughs> okay, round two. Let's try that again. You. Find something to impregnate. That dog looks nice. Do it on the dog. <laughs> Do it on the dog. Oh boy, okay. What's this turning into? <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, impregnation's happening. Okay, for some reason that's popping up. Now it didn't- now it's not popping up. I don't fucking know anymore. Anyway, so once they impregnate, they'll just fall, you know, fall over, you know, plop on the floor. Um, I'm not sure if you can bring them back somehow, you know, the same way you can bring back a unfertile facehugger by just chucking royal jelly at it, like it's a little slut. I don't know if you can do that with the, um, trilobites, but we'll find out. I really love the animation. It's- it's so good. Holy shit. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave that- leave my screen directed at this so I don't miss anything while I continue reading. Um, so... The second alien variant that can come out of a trilobite... Child. Oh, fucking hell, I don't know how it's- If the second variant that can come out of a trilobite impregnation scenario is the NG Deacon, which is a beast of a mob that I'm gonna put on the screen right now because it's not actually in the mod this very instant. I, I don't know the exact time specifications on when they're adding it. Anyway, so the engineers and space jockeys are the only creatures that can- that can create this NG Deacon. And this is basically just a different variant of the Deacon. So you've got the normal Deacon that pops out of all the animals, and then turns into the adult Deacon, over here, as you can see. <laughs> He's great. Okay. And then you've got the NG Deacon, as well. Oh! There we go! They become plops! I gotta pause recording just for a second, because... The world hates me. So if we just sit around and wait, this guy's about to burst. Oh, here we go. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's trying to get away. <laughs> There's a deacon. Nice. So this guy will grow up into this guy. Um, and these guys can only be created pretty much with any being apart from the engineer and the space jockey, which are uh, the Malakak from the Prometheus movie and, um... Alien Covenant. So, these two guys will produce the NG Deacon. Uh, they will also go ahead to kill my specimen that I'm trying to show you guys right now. But I'm pretty sure I know which one will win. Oh my god, the cat just keeps fucking clawing at the carpet. Why you do this? Why? Why you do this? Why? Stop. Stop. Stop! 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 Demon cat! Demon! Power Christ compels you! Alright, cool. So, that's the new trilobite mechanic and animations, which are really cool. I really like it a lot. Okay, so now we're going to do a magical transition into a different world to show you just a little bit, a little bit more that's happened um, when it comes to s some little graphical stuff that's been modified slightly. So, 
you know, insert the Batman thing, you go, da -da 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 -da, and spin and shit. Whoa, 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 oh my god, such magic, oh my god, magical, 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 somehow we got to another save file with a bunch of stuff. Anyway, um, awesome. So, last of all is a few asset changes, uh, specifically Varda's trees. They've gotten sort of like an overhaul. I really like it. Okay. So, the Varda trees used to have a resolution of 32 times, um, but they've downed it to 16 times to better fit Minecraft. So, essentially, they were a little bit more realistic looking before, and they've been downed a little bit more to better fit Minecraft. Hope I'm getting that right. I probably am. I'm probably not. I don't know. I always get things wrong in these... I always get something wrong in this spotlight! I probably forget something. Don't worry. Don't worry. Either either Rissix or Cyber will yell at me in the comments. Don't worry. Okay. Um, also, their leaves have been divided into three parts. Now, this, this, this is really cool. Okay, so, first of all, you have the normal leaf, okay? Ba-da-bum. ba da ba 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 Cool? Yeah? Normal leaf? Okay? Now, watch this. Eh. And eh. Yeah! That's awesome, huh? So the leaves have been divided into three parts to allow the trees to have willow-like leaves, which is really cool. I like it a lot. And uh, Cyber said she did set up one somewhere around here, but I'm probably blind and I'm not going to find it. I'm blind, aren't I? It's here somewhere, I reckon. Righto, we've established I'm blind. Okay, so, last but not least is the black goo. Not just the black goo. So, the black goo texture has been changed to look more like goo. Um, also, the next thing they plan to work on is the goo mechanics. Um, so, the mutation mechanics of what happens when, you know, a creature touches the goo. Um, as always, plans are always changing. Uh, what I've noticed with the AVP mod... They'll plan to do one thing, then they'll do they'll do another thing. It's up to them, whatever they want to do. Um, they're not forgetting about anything that they've already said they want to work on in the past. For instance, um, Paradise, um, they want to work on that still. Uh, it's just, you know, let them work on whatever they want to work on uh, for the time being. So, Paradise has, hasn't been forgotten, by the way. Um, it's not like they've just chucked it out. It's It's just on a shelf. So they just choose what they want to work on, pretty much. Okay, cool. So, that is about it for this spotlight. You may be wondering why I'm in Vada. <laughs> the, la the last minute worth of footage <laughs> has taken me about three hours to record because of a lot of shit that's been happening. Anyway, cool. So, that is, uh, that is about it. Not really much else to say other than I'm looking forward to <laughs> impregnating a shit ton of stuff in my Let's Play series. With these trail bites, that's gonna be super fun. Oh my god. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Oh, it's on peaceful. Yeah, nice way to finish the video, Yoland. Try to spawn them in. <laughs> yeah, it's so dark as well. Oh my god. Excellent. <laughs>